You can say scalp. You can say scalp. Okay, so this is four months later, and as you can see, the hair's a lot longer, but it's really thick now. And, you know, I'm approaching 40, and my dad is bald. My mum's got really thin hair. Both men and women on both sides of the family have got really thin hair, and it usually leaves the building around the mid 30s. I'm approaching 40, and, you know, four months ago, I thought I was on the 18th hole. I thought it was all over, and the hair was. It was coming out but I did a lot of research on how to thicken and grow the hair naturally and I feel like I'm literally about to tee off. G'day team, Joel Bushby here, the founder and owner of the Natural Transformer Natural Supplement range and online training programs. Now today I'm going to tell you what I've been through to thicken and grow my hair naturally. I am not here to sell you anything, I'm a body transformation specialist, nothing to do with hair growth. I'm just wanting to give you guys more value than before. I'm gonna give you a bit of an insight of what I've been through, um, almost losing all of my hair. It was really thin and how to naturally thicken and grow it faster. And I'm, I'm so grateful I've done the research. So hopefully you get a little bit out of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, comment, and let me know if you'd like to learn anything, anything about health and fitness related or lifestyle related or increasing your energy um, on how to take your life to the next level. I'd love to help out as much as possible. So hopefully you get a fair bit out of this video. Let's go through my top 10 tips of what I had to reduce and introduce to my lifestyle. Okay, tip number one, heat on your head is bad. So I do a lot of outdoor activities. I've got two dogs that I like to take on a daily walk. I'm always playing tennis, playing golf, surfing out in the sunshine. Um, I do a lot of outdoor activities and I'm in the sun at least an hour, two hours a day. And I didn't realize how much this was drying out my scalp. I also have extremely hot showers once a day and I was putting my head under for minutes on end and I didn't realize how much this was drying out my scalp. So started wearing a cap whenever I went outdoors and I stopped putting my head under the shower and when I did want to wash my face or my hair, I turned the um, temperature down to a room temperature or even a cold shower to wash my hair and wash my face. And this alone, keeping my head out of the heat, did huge wonders. So if you can take that tip away, you'll get huge results straight away. Okay, number two, I stopped using products to style my hair because it was just filled with stuff that was suffocating the follicles. And I started using Moroccan oil. So now Moroccan oil gets natural oils to your scalp, which is good for hair growth. And I found this oil just really good to style your hair. So I didn't care what brand you look into. I, I feel like any Moroccan oil is going to help as long as it's a 100% Moroccan oil. Um, but this alone, just styling my hair with Moroccan oil every day, just got more natural oils to my scalp and the hair sit really well. It didn't look too um, wet. I only just did one little uh, squirt of Moroccan oil and then styled my hair after I had a shower. And I feel like the Moroccan oils definitely help heaps. Okay, number three. So I've been making a coconut oil mask just twice a week before I go to bed because the coconut oil in your hair makes it real, real greasy. So you don't wanna be doing this too much, otherwise you're just gonna be walking around with a wet head all the time. Um, so I did a tablespoon of coconut oil with a teaspoon of olive oil and just a couple of drops of hemp seed oil. So this just twice a week, I do this on a Thursday and a Monday because they're my treat days, that's when I have the green light to eat whatever I want. So they're my two favorite days of the week and they're the nights I usually put the coconut oil mask in. So again, it's all about getting the natural oils to the hair and I feel this was a big game changer. Like I said, you don't wanna do this at the start of the day because you're gonna walk around with real oily hair. You don't wanna be walking around with that look. So do it at night time, maybe try it once a week. Um, but I do this twice a week and it's been the hair feels so much more 
vibrant and um, it's got a lot more natural oils to it. So give that a shot. Number four, now I, I feel like a big part of the oils was massaging the scalp. So massaging the scalp helps with the hair follicles. Um, it's a big part of hair growth. So I wasn't touching my head at all, but since I introduced the Moroccan oil and the coconut mask twice a week and the Moroccan oil every day, massaging it through my scalp, I feel helped with the hair follicles. And another thing I did was when I previously used to have showers, I used to scrub the crap out of my head to dry it out. And I didn't realize this was damaging the follicles of the hair. So with all the research I did, just grabbing your hair and drying it softly, um, you know, it will dry. You don't have to scrub the crap out of it. I don't even know where I got it from. I must have learned it from my dad and he's got no hair, or I must have seen it in the movies when I was younger and I thought that's how you dry your hair. But just patting it down and drying it nice and gently has been a huge help and just massaging the scalp, give it a shot. Okay, number five, um, shampoos with silica and biotin. Now these two ingredients are all about hair growth and you don't wanna be shampooing your hair too much. Now I used to shampoo my hair once every two days and I didn't realize this was taking away the natural oils in my head. So I backed it off to once a week or even once a fortnight and I got myself a shampoo with biotin and silica in it. So if you can find yourself a shampoo with those ingredients in there, it's gonna be great for the hair growth and maybe just back off if you're a regular shampoo of washing your hair, uh, maybe just back off to maybe once a week or even once a fortnight. I know it sounds a bit dirty, but your hair will thicken up dramatically if you do this. Okay, number six, an iodine supplement. Now, iodine is found in seaweed and it is pretty hard to come across in our daily nutrition. So our thyroids use iodine to balance out our hormones. And it is, like I said, it's really hard to find in nutrition. You can find it in seaweed um, wrapped around your sushi rolls. But again, when it comes to smashing sushi rolls just to build your iodine levels up, um, you've got to be careful of the amount of calories and wasted carbohydrates in sushi. You don't want to overdo carbohydrates, otherwise it will turn to fat eventually. We'll touch on nutrition in another video, but get yourself a good iodine supplement to balance out those hormones and help the thyroid produce those hormones. Um, you shouldn't spend too much on an iodine supplement, maybe 10 Australian dollars, 20 maximum, um, just to build those iodine levels up. I took an iodine supplement for about 30 days and that I felt that really did build up my iodine levels. I was less foggy brain and I noticed the hair growth as well. So um, give an iodine supplement, have, check it out. Maybe your closest chemist or look it up online. You shouldn't spend too much on an iodine supplement, but if you can look into this, it will definitely help. Okay, number seven, get yourself a good zinc supplement. Now zinc is really good for hair, skin, nails, your natural testosterone levels. You can find zinc in all different types of food groups. My favorite is in your oysters. If you can get oysters in once a week, you'll see a big increase in your natural zinc levels, but not everyone has that luxury to get oysters in. So get yourself a good zinc supplement. Even if you do get oysters in once a week, you still should be supplementing with a, a good zinc supplement. Number eight, omega-3s and omega-6s in your nutrition. So the best form of omega-3s and 6s is found in salmon, but some people are more plant-based with their nutrition. And I like to have hemp seed oil in my smoothies throughout the day. Just a couple of drops of hemp seed oil is enough to build up your omega-3s and 6s. And it's a really good oil to have for brain function, as well as the hair, skin, and nails. So get yourself some omega-3s if you can have Salmon, maybe once or even twice a week. Again, not everyone has that type of luxury. Or if you can have some hemp seed oil in your smoothies, or you could get yourself some fish oil tablets just to build up the omega-3s and 6s in your nutrition. Okay, number nine, speaking of nutrition, let's talk about getting your greens, fibrous greens up as much as possible. When it comes to counting your calories or your macros, I've always said it to all the customers that have come to TNT, don't worry about counting your greens. Have as much as you want. It's all you can eat and you cannot get enough of it. So please increase your greens intake. Um, let's reduce the amount of 
simple carbohydrates that you have because sugars and grains and simple carbs do inflame the body and when your body's inflamed you can lose hair follicles and build up the protein intake so make sure you're having enough protein in your nutrition plan so every meal you should be looking for a little bit of protein when i've always explained about your protein intake you should be looking at about two grams per body weight of protein per day so let's try and increase the amount of protein you're getting in let's increase the amount of greens you're getting in and let's decrease those simple carbohydrates if you can number 10 this is the most important to thicken and keep your hair we need to reduce the amount of stress now this one should be number one this is the most important and i know this is a hard task for a lot of people but reducing the amount of stress that goes into the mind every day, that goes into your body every day. I know it's a hard task, but we need to reduce that stress as much as possible. Now, a lot of people are smashing caffeine to feel like they need to stay awake. We need to bring that down. We need to reduce the cortisol levels, those stress levels as much as possible. I know as soon as we pick up our phones, there's a lot of stress that goes into the mind and into the nervous system. So we need to learn tools on how to reduce that stress as much as possible. So look into some sort of breathing technique to bring down that heart rate and those stress levels. Meditation is a huge one as well, but we need to work out, we need to learn life is happening for us and it's not happening against us. So whenever problems arise, we need to see these problems and say, ah, this is all part of the process. This is all part of my ride of life. So we need to face these problems and just punch straight through them, not let the stress get to us too much. Otherwise it's gonna age us, it's gonna reduce our energy levels and it's gonna reduce our hair follicles. So we need to keep all of those as high as possible. So let's reduce those stress levels as much as you can. I know there's a lot of people that have it harder than others, but there is ways to reduce stress. There's always someone out there that's doing that harder than you, so keep that in mind. So there you have it, team. Like I said, I'm a body transformation specialist. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I didn't talk about any of my products that we sell here at TNT. I literally tried to just give you a little bit of insight and value of how you can thicken and grow your hair naturally as much as possible. Hopefully these tips help. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like to learn on this YouTube channel. I'd love to help out as much as possible. I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned because there'll be another video next week. Cheers.